how to annotate. In the world of supervised deep learning, annotations are the new currency. So how do we generate the best currency? Let me tell you. First, we need to define what we want to annotate. So here we are in the Aphoria Create platform. And thank you so much to Aphoria for sponsoring this video and letting me use the platform to show you how to annotate. On this slide, we have a tumor here in this tissue. And so we are going to be defining what do we want to annotate. Do we just want to annotate this tumor and the rest? Or do we want to annotate this tumor, the stroma, maybe immune cells, and then the rest? We have to define which exact elements we're going to be annotating. These are going to be our classes and then define appearances of each of those elements per class. And we do this in the ground truth document that we keep consistent throughout the project. And there is a separate video somewhere on the screen to watch exactly how to approach that. The second thing we need to do is keep our classes clean. So when we look at our slide again, currently we just have one class tumor. So let's work with this class. We are going to click here to annotate. We want to keep our class clean. What does that mean? That I only include the pixels belonging to this class in my annotation. How do I do that? I do it like this to include the tumor and not like this. Do you see how I'm taking these guys into my tumor annotation? We don't do that. We keep our class clean because this is stroma. We don't want stroma together with tumor because then our model is going to be confused. So I just used this rubber tool and made it clean. I can even clean it more so that no amount of stroma makes it to my tumor annotation. Number three, we want to keep our annotations small. That might be counterintuitive, but let me tell you why. First, there's less room for error. If you have them small, they're going to be clean. Second, showing a lot of the same thing to the model is not really helpful. So why waste time on huge annotations that contain the same type of pixels? And third, in our example, we have the tumor class and the non-tumor class. They cover different amount of area on the slide. What we want to do is to represent our classes in a balanced way to avoid so-called class imbalance. And there is another video on class imbalance that I will link in the description, but class imbalance is not helping us in model development. So we're going to annotate small guys. And in Aphoria, you always need a training region to train your model as well, but that's a topic for another video. And then the fourth last step in your quest to have the perfect annotations for a supervised deep learning model is to correct your annotations if you make a mistake and keep your annotations during the model development consistent. So let's see how we can correct the mistake. Let's say I was a little sloppy and did this annotation. We see it's not clean. Please, there is tumor, there is trauma, there are immune cells and even background like Alex, really. Let's just not do that, okay? So I can use the rubber tool and I can even go very close and see exactly where my tumor ends. If let's say I decide not to include this white space at all and everything that is not a tumor cell goes out. And... Is it clean? Well, let's clean up a tiny little bit more. Now it should be good. So the four steps to have good annotations are define what you want to annotate, keep your classes clean, keep your annotations relatively small and correct your annotations and to stay consistent. And if you want to see a full demo of how to annotate different types of annotations, in addition to the semantic segmentation annotations that we just did, I am linking to a webinar about annotations, tips and trick in the description below. And I talk to you in the next episode.